reach the Empress before Corypheus. The only question is, how? We know how. I have our way in. The real question is, where is our enemy hiding? At the urging of Grand Duchess Florian, the Empress is holding a ball. Absolutely everyone will be there. During the festivities, Céline will be meeting for peace talks with the usurper Duke Gaspard and Ambassador Briala. The assassin must be hiding within one of these factions. Do we need to go to the peace talks? The Empress must have personal guards. We could just warn her she's in danger. We've made the attempt, but... It seems that our messages never reached her. Someone intercepted them. It's better that we don't leave this to chance. If Orlé falls to Corypheus, no land is safe. Tell me everything we know about the Empress. Empress Céline is a renowned diplomat and reformer. She works tirelessly to secure peace for the Empire. Unfortunately, many Orlesians view peace as complacency. She has yet to name an heir, leaving the future of the Empire in doubt if anything happens to her. Especially when the next in line is her cousin Gaspard, who's made few friends on the Council of Heralds. Céline is surrounded at all times by countless guards, courtiers, servants, and vassals. What better place for an assassin to hide than the Empress's own household? How can Gaspard still be next in line while he wages war against his Empress? The title Grand Duke indicates that he was a prince before the Empress took the throne. Who is this Ambassador Briala? An ambassador in name only. She has organized the elves of Halam Sheral into an underground army. The Empress invited her to the peace talks in a bid to gain the elves' alliance in the war. That would be scandal enough, without the rumor that Briala is a jilted lover of Selene's. A personal grudge and a network of sabotage at her command. Eh, promising lead. Wait, the elven leader is a jilted lover of the Empress? It's not widely known. Just a rumor whispered among the palace servants a few years ago. If it's true and where to get out, the Empress and an elf. <laughs> the scandal could destroy Celine's court. Even if a lie, Briella could use it to blackmail the Empress. She has some connection to the throne. What do we know about Duke Gaspard? The man who would have been Emperor. He's Celine's cousin, and was first in line to inherit the throne when Emperor Florian died. Celine outmaneuvered him. She won over the Council of Heralds, who hold authority over title disputes. She became Empress, and he a general in the Imperial Army. He's well loved by the troops. He's also a Chevalier. Most of their number sided with him when he turned on the Empress. Aren't the Chevaliers part of the army? Why would they follow the Duke? Most Chevaliers are sworn to serve the Crown, but that does not give them faith in the person wearing it. The Empress has tried to improve relations with Ferelden and Navarra. The Chevaliers see her as anti-military. They believe Gaspard could lead the Empire back to the glory of Draken's expansion years. You've given me plenty to think about. With Gaspard and Selene's armies entrenched, we cannot openly march troops to the palace. My agents will ensure your soldiers get inside. But it must be a few at a time to avoid attention. Understood. Just give the word, and we'll begin. The political situation in Halam Shiral hangs by a thread. The Empress fears our presence could sever it. The Grand Duke is only too happy to have us at the ball as his guests, so our invitation comes from him. Whether we act as his allies or upset the balance of power, he gains an opportunity, if not a clear advantage. Inquisitor Trevelyan, we meet at last. I've heard so much about you. The rumors coming out of the Western Approach say you battled an army of demons. Imagine what the Inquisition could accomplish with the full support of the rightful Emperor of Orle. And which one was the rightful one again? I keep getting them confused. If we keep watch, he may appear. Probably by the brandy. <laughs> 
I am not a man who forgets his friends, Inquisitor. You help me, I'll help you. Prepared to shock the assembly by appearing as the guest of a hateful usurper, my lord? They will be telling stories of this into the next age. It's a pleasure to meet you, Duke Gaspard. I look forward to ending this civil war. As do I, my friend. The Empire needs stability and security now more than ever. If you have the safety of the Orlesian people at heart, Inquisitor, perhaps you will look into something for me. This elven woman, Briala, I suspect that she intends to disrupt the negotiations. My people have found these ambassadors all over the fortifications. Sabotage seems the least of their crimes. That sounds like something I should look into. Be as discreet as possible. I detest the game. But if we do not play it well, our enemies will make us look like villains. We're keeping the court waiting, Inquisitor. Shall we? Is that the Inquisitor? What? A marcher? Don't be absurd. I should look around. Maker, what am I going to do if I cannot find my ring? Is this the ring you were looking for? You are a treasure! I cannot believe you found it! You have saved me a lifetime of mortification! How can I thank you enough? Where could it be? It's been too long since I've had any word from Valoyo. Is that the Inquisitor? And now, the Maker has been Inquisitor, a moment, if you please. I'm sure you know how to handle most nobility, but the game is nothing like the Free March's intrigues. It is no simple matter of etiquette and protocol. Every word, every gesture is measured and evaluated for weakness. Don't they sound delightful? I'm shocked we haven't invited the court to dinner at Skyhold. The game is like wicked grace played to the death. You must never reveal your cards. When you meet the Empress, the eyes of the entire court will be upon you. You are safer in the Fade with the Fear Demon. It might be a good idea for the others to hear this warning. Particularly Cole, assuming you can get him to pay attention. I'll have a few discreet words. Everything will be fine. Amraste, watch over us all. How can they call this a vestibule? It's a foyer. Please, it's barely half the size of the foyer in the Imperial Palace. I wish there was more news coming from the Conclave. Good news is becoming an increasingly rare No one asked you. 
Interesting. I heard the Grand Duke in. Hmm. Waste of time. Well, why are there so many errands here? The Emperor is invited. Any news of Paragon Bronca? Not since the King cut off her supply of castles. I heard Celine was having the entire wing redecorated. He plans to but the time is Is the council not recognized? Why such a thing now? He'll march against them. We need to have this jacket let out a little. We need to have this jacket let out a little. This dress uniform is preposterous. Formal armor would have been better. Gaspar never struck me as pious. You must think he gains military advantage. The guest wing is not open to the public at this time, Inquisitor. What is Gaspar? It wouldn't surprise me if they brought the Inquisitor here. And now presenting Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon and accompanying him Lord Inquisitor Trevelyan, son of Ban Trevelyan of Ostwick. <laughs> Shepherd and leash of the Wayward Order of Templars, purger of the heretics from the ranks of the faithful. Permit a smile. This is all for show, my dear. Champion of the Blessed Andraste herself. <laughs> Did you see their faces? Priceless. Accompanying the Inquisitor, Seeker, Cassandra, Allegra, Portia, Calogera, Philomena. Get on with it. Pantagast, 14th cousin to the King of Nevada. Cousin, my dear sister. Grand Duke, we are always honored when your presence graces our court. Don't waste my time with pleasantries, Celine. We have business to conclude. We will meet for the negotiations after we have seen to our other guests. Inquisitor? Lord Inquisitor, we welcome you to the Winter Palace. Allow us to present our cousin, the Grand Duchess of Leeds, without whom this gathering would never have been possible. What an unexpected pleasure. I was not aware the Inquisition would be part of our festivities. We will certainly speak later, Inquisitor. Your arrival at court is like a cool wind on a summer's day. I'm delighted to be here, Your Majesty. We have heard much of your exploits, Inquisitor. They have made grand tales for long evenings. How do you find Halam Shiral? I have never seen anything to equal the Winter Palace. We hope you will find time to take in some of its beauties. Feel free to enjoy the pleasures of the ballroom, Inquisitor. We look forward to watching you dance. Inquisitor, a word when you have a moment. Inquisitor, please allow me to present to you my younger sister, Yvette Gabriella Montillier. 
Delighted to meet you, Lady Montelier. <laughs> Inquisitor, I've heard so much about you, but not as much as I want. Josephine writes, but she never tells me anything. Is it true you found the Red Templars sacrificing heretics and drinking blood from mages' veins? Yvette! Everyone in Antifa City is saying so. Is it true? There was dark magic there, yes. But none of it so... visceral. Oh. Did you check everywhere? That's quite enough, Yvette. Really. Which power should the Inquisition throw its weight behind? Selene has held the throne successfully for years. I see no profit in ousting her. Gaspard has run military campaigns, but never a kingdom. His transition would be... let us say, chaotic. This may be my only chance to hear about when Josephine was a girl. Oh, yes. As she told you about when she was ten, and... Yvette. Stop. Fine. Uh, what about when we were climbing the cliffs by the... No. She once told the Duke of... Absolutely not. Hmm. She still plays with her doll collection when no one's looking. Yvette. That's absurd. Absolutely preposterous. <laughs> Enjoying the ball? I see many of them. The dancing is so dull, your worship. But the Empress's gallery is magnificent. Yvette. Sorry, Josie. Go on, Josephine. Half a royal must be empty. So many of the Empire's finest are in attendance. They've noticed the Empress paying you special attention, but they don't quite know how to take advantage of it yet. This uncertainty won't last long, I'm afraid. Tell me about yourself, Lady Yvette. This is the first time I've encountered any of Josephine's family. She would forget to mention the artists. I've been studying painting under Antiva's royal tutors. You should be proud, Josie. I'm going to be exhibiting my work next season in the city's biggest salon. Have you actually sat down and finished a painting yet? I must wait for my inspiration. And I must wait for your tutor's bids. I'll see you later. Another time. It's true. The Templars have returned to the bay. How could the Empress afford to renovate the palace? embarrassed yourself as much as I feared. Well done, my dear. I've always wondered, what's the Orlesian fascination with masks? We all wear masks, my dear, not just the people in Orlais. Who you are as a son, a lover, a friend, is not the same man who speaks for Andraste and leads the Inquisition. Orlesians codify this truth, make it visible. By giving each of these selves its own separate face, they believe they can be their truest selves, unmasked. Anything happening I should know? Strange that I haven't seen much of Grand Duchess Florian. One could always find her clinging desperately to the Empress's skirts before. It seems like you enjoy this, Vivian. This is the game, Inquisitor. Of course I enjoy it. If I didn't, I'd be dead by now. Any words of wisdom for navigating the ballroom? Speak to the Council of Heralds. Six of them are here tonight. The seventh member of the Council is... indisposed. His absence will complicate the negotiations. The Council are the highest-ranking players of the game. They see everything. They might know something we can use. Tell me, Vivian. Where do you want the crown to fall? What I want is irrelevant, darling. Orlais requires stability, and that is best served by Empress Selene. You ready to act when I give the signal? Always, my dear. Le vent. Perhaps we can speak later, Inquisitor. 
I had hoped to tour the world so again. Please, Inquisitor, I have did you need something? As soon as we track down this infiltrator, the better. Pity that we must see. Do you have any advice? Orlesian social events don't fall within my area of expertise. There are a few here we can trust. Be careful. What do you think the Inquisition should support? Gaspard's claim to the throne is fair. Orlais needs someone capable of responding to the crisis at hand. A military-minded leader seems the best option. You've attracted a following. Who are all these people? I don't know. They won't leave me alone. I take it you're not enjoying yourself. At this point, the headache I'm developing is preferable to the company. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? Nothing that stands out. I doubt there's a single person here without ulterior motives. We'll talk later. I await your signal. What were they doing in the Western Approach? It's a wasteland. out to the difference. Good. I was hoping it would catch you. What did the Duke say? He points the finger at Ambassador Briala. The Ambassador is up to something, but she can't be our focus. The best place to strike at Celine is from her side. Empress Selene is fascinated by mysticism, foreseeing the future, speaking with the dead, that sort of rubbish. She has an occult advisor, an apostate who charmed the Empress and key members of the court as if by magic. I've had dealings with her in the past. She is ruthless and capable of anything. How can Selene openly keep an apostate in the Imperial Court? The Imperial Court has always had an official position for a mage. Before now, it was little better than Court Jester. Vivian was the first to turn that appointment into a source of real political power. When the Circles rebelled, technically every mage became an apostate. The word lost much of its strength. That sounds exactly like the person we're looking for. She's worth investigating. Can't be sure of anything here. Both leads point toward the guest wing. It's a promising place to start. I'll coordinate with our spies to see if I can find anything better. I will be in the ballroom if you need me. This ball is a waste of time, like all Orlesian foolishness. Let's find the Venatori collaborator and get out of here. I don't suppose you'd like to dance, Lady Cassandra. Now? This is hardly the time. We're here to find a killer, not dance. Have you witnessed anything noteworthy? Nothing yet. I will let you know. You don't seem to care much for the ball. Orlesians pretend their petty squabbles are a game. Yes, let us treat murder, corruption and deceit as delightful amusements. How wonderful. We are here to save Empress Selene, and it galls me. Why does she merit our protection? The Empire would be better off without her. Gaspard is the leader Orlais needs in this crisis. You support the Civil War? Of course not. Chaos is what Corypheus wants, and we must oppose him. Were it up to me, however, I would let Selene fall and Gaspard take the throne. He would see the true threat, not spend his time throwing balls and writing letters. Stay alert. We don't know where the enemy is hiding. I'll be watching for trouble. The sooner we leave this place, the better.
Look at Lady Cambian's slippers, trimmed with pearls and emeralds, and those buckles. Toss her into the lake and she'll sink right to the bottom. What a disaster. There's a Tevinter assassin on the loose, and you're concerned about buckles on shoes. Everyone needs a hobby. Besides, you can learn a great deal about a person from their clothing. Gold and jewels on a dancing slipper. A slipper is easily lost and finds itself in the dust and dirt. She is unconcerned with the possibility of losing the shoe or soiling it. A vulgar display of wealth. But Lady Cambian's family has recently lost most of its holdings. They have their title, but little else. So, how did Cambian acquire such a grand shoe, hmm? What has she done? Who has she bedded? These are all useful questions, no? You're different here than in Skyhold. More approachable, perhaps. This is Halam Sharal Inquisitor. This is the Imperial Court. This is the beating heart of the great game. Of course, everyone is wearing a mask. I learned this very young. I was still a girl when I attended my first ball. All this, the smiles, the small talk, it is a dance. And like any dance, it can be learned. For some of us, it has become so familiar that the steps may be performed in our sleep. What do you think the Inquisition should support? What we need most of all is a stable Ole. Either Celine or Gaspard can give us that. I found this out. I'm not sure of its value. Very interesting. It may not help our investigation, but we can put it to use. A little more dirt like this, and we might have some leverage in the court. If you find more, let me know. Have you seen anything interesting? Oh, yes. Halam Shiral is lousy with scandals and scheming. But no sign of our Tevinter infiltrator, I'm afraid. I should go. Be on your guard. I always am.